Hello everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome back to my tutorial series of Patrician 3. This is the fifth episode and today I want to talk about constructing our own city buildings and constructing our own industry. So where I want to start is the construction menu itself. So if we click on this, there is some options right here and the first one is the trading office. We can build a warehouse from here. We can build housing. Here is poor housing. Uh, well-off and rich housing the next button here is the city buildings we can do roads wells hospitals chapels raw materials apiary grain farm sheep farm and hemp farm depending on what town this can be different finishing we have weaving mill pottery and brickworks and then finally this unlocks when you become lord mayor you have fortifications port bombard port cannon gate bombard, gate cannon, and pit shop. So let's start going over these menus in detail. Now let's talk about the warehouse. Before you can build any other buildings in town, you, the only thing you'll be able to do is build a warehouse. And to do so, you have to gain the correct reputation in that town. Once you reach reputation, and to raise reputation, you just do some trading with them, and you supply the town with goods, your reputation will go up, and then as soon as it's high enough, you will get a news flash here saying that you have reached the reputation level, and you can uh, build a warehouse in town. So once you have the reputation, you click on the warehouse, and it sees that it's attached to the mouse here, the building, and you can place it anywhere where there is a green mark on the ground. Here is the cost of the building. Here's the total cost, which is 12,374. The construction time is gonna take three weeks to build this building. The materials it needs is bricks, timber, iron ore. This is the amount it needs, so it needs 40 bricks, 20 timber, 20 iron ore. This is how much materials that we have in stock that's either in our boat or in our harbor or in our warehouse. There's 238 loads of bricks. We only need 40. We are short timber. We only have seven loads of timber in our warehouse. So we need to buy 13 from the town. And this is the cost of that timber. So let's place this right here. Just click and then it turns into your building. And you can see that there's a wooden outline in the building. And in three weeks, this will be done. Now to build the half timber house is the same thing. You click on it and you can place it and you'll see that there is another outline on that. And if you click on this, you can see how soon it's going to be. The building will start soon because there's not enough builders in town. We have to wait till some of the projects are finished. This will be done in 20 days here, it says. So once you're done, you can click on here to see which buildings are yours. The ones that are grayed out are owned by somebody else. And the ones that are not grayed out are either action buildings or buildings that you own. And if I click on one of these housing units, it tells us a breakdown of all the housing that we have. We have the dwellings in this town. We have six timbered houses. Here is the amount of people that are staying in the house. Here's the maximum amount of people we can put up. And here is the rent per week. We own three gabled houses. Here again, there's the population inside of it. It has a maximum of 420. We maybe should be building some more gabled houses. And here is the rent. And here is the merchant house, 73, with a maximum of 80. We may want to build another one of these merchant houses as well. And here is the rent. And this is the basic tax per week. So you can see that we are making money. If you add all these together, it is higher than this. So you add all this together, subtract that, and that's how much money you are making. Now, let's talk about the city buildings. The first option here are roads. Now, roads help with the town's hygiene and sanitation. The cleaner the town is, the more roads there are, the happier the people get. And remember, our goal is to get as much people here as possible and charging them rent and making as much money as we can and growing our businesses. So the more people, the better. The happier the people are, the better. So roads is a good way to raise up your reputation as well as the happiness of the people. 
The next option is wells. Now wells also help with hygiene and protection from fire. There is fire, some buildings can burn down if you do not have enough wells in town. And if your business catches fire, you will lose that production and will have to rebuild the building. So wells are handy and they make the people happy as well. So the same deal, the cost, the construction time, and I have built all the wells possible in this town so it is grayed out. The next tier is the hospital. Now the hospital is important to remember that you need to extend your walls at least one time before you can build the hospital. I have extended my walls once already and I have a hospital. It helps to protect the civilians against epidemics and also helps with the cleanliness of the town. So if you have a hospital, it's, de it's dedicated to you, your reputation goes up, and the happiness of all the people goes up, and more people will want to move here. Now there is a, there's the chapel is next, and the chapel, again, you need to have your walls extended at least once before you can build this building. And this building takes care of the poor and helps improve the general health of the town itself. So again, if you have the chapel, happiness goes up, your reputation goes up, and more people will move to the town. Now let's go to another city here. Let's see if Stockholm has it. You can go into here, yes. You can see that there is a few more options here. We have the school. And the school raises the influx of new inhabitants by 30%. So if you have the school, I do not have enough materials to build it. I am short uh, bricks here. But I do have a school, I believe, in Visby. Where is it? Here's the school right here. So the school raises the new inhabitants by 30%. So if you have a lot of buildings and you need workers, building a school helps bring people in. Let's go back to Stockholm. Now the next building that we can build is the Mint. Here is the price and the stock. I do not have enough bricks to build it in this town. But the Mint is a place where they create coins for the town. And when you create coins, that raises the amount of rich people in the town by 50%. So you can have much more rich people if you have a mint in the town. And I do believe I have a mint in Visby here already. Coining right here, the mint donated by me. So again, you can raise your um, rich population by 50% if you build a mint. Now there's one over here that can appear as well, and that is a monument to you if you do a very good job and the people think are really happy with you they will want to build a monument in your honor so if you click on that you can build the monument and when you do your reputation goes up by quite a bit all right the next option here is raw materials and here's the raw materials menu for visby we have the apre grain farm sheep farm and hemp farm we can build these like any other building, except now we can put them outside the city walls. If they're outside the city walls and we get a siege, they will burn down whatever building they come across, depending on which road the siege is happening from. So we can just put one of these and it's exactly like any other buildings. The cost is over here and how long it takes and you can see what it does. So I'm going to go through the list of all of the buildings that are in the raw material section. The first one is iron smelting and it produces 3.5 of pig iron. Now to find a place that you can do this at, I know that Alberg is one of them, you can just come to the town and look at the center of town here and you can see that there's pig iron right there and it produces 3.5 so we can build an iron smelter here in in Alberg Put one right there right there. right there now we're building an iron smelter now the next one is the fishing for whaling now this is an interesting one if we go to Oslo here 
we have whale oil on their list. So that means we can place a fishery. Fisherman's hut. I do not have enough materials here to do it. But this fishery is a whale fishery and it produces 5.2 loads of fish and 28 barrels of whale oil. Now the next item is a regular fishery. And if we go down to Stetton here, I know that Stetton can do it. And we click on here, we have just fish, not oil. So here, if we build some fisheries, which I have right here, we can get uh seven loads of fish per week now the next one on the list is a grain farm right here and the grain farm produces seven uh, loads of grain per week and consumes nothing and again we can just click on this and we can place it either inside the wall where it's safe or we can place it outside the wall where it's possible the siege people will burn it down and also if you build them in proximity to another grain farm you get a bonus you see that it's a little bit different it's cheaper and you get a bonus on how much grain it produces so you can get a better result if you put them together now the next one on the list is a hemp farm again if you put it right beside another hemp farm it's a bonus do i have one here this is a hemp farm right here? I think so. Let's place that right here. And you can see that it is a little bit different. Here's the first one. Here's the second one. So th this is going to give us a little bit of a bonus. And the hemp farm produces 1.75 loads of hemp per week and consumes nothing. I'm going to go back to Visby here. And that is the apiary. This is bees. And I don't have enough to do it but i do have some here somewhere where is it right here is an apiary right there and it produces honey and it produces 14 barrels of honey per week and it consumes nothing so that's a good way to get honey the next one is a sawmill i don't know if we can build it here i don't think so now i think we can do it in riga timber yes let's see if we can build a sawmill here in riga there it is let's plop it right there and you can see we are now building a sawmill and the sawmill produces 14 loads of wood per week and consumes nothing the next one on the list is a sheep farm and i know that visby does sheep for sure so we'll go back to visby and sheep farm and I don't have enough to do it again, but I have some sheep farms here are ready to go. That's pottery. Here's a sheep farm right here. And the sheep farm, and you can see that I have a little bit right beside it again. So there is a bonus happening there. And the sheep farm produces 3.5 loads of wool and consumes nothing. Now the next one on the list is a cattle farm. Now let's go back to the thing and i believe this port has cattle let me take a look at the center and it has meat here and leather so we can build a cattle farm here right here cattle farm we don't have enough but i do believe i have a cattle farm right over here and you can see that it gets a bonus as well if you put it beside and the cattle farm produces 1.7 loads of meat and seven barrels of leather per week. Now, the next one on the list is the winery. Now, the winery, you cannot grow any wine, as far as I know, on this side of the map. You have to go over here. I believe here we can do some wine. Yes, we have production low wine here. We can build a winery. And here is the vineyard. There's a price. I don't know if I have a winery here. Yes, I do. One right here. A vineyard. And the vineyard produces 14 barrels of wine per week and consumes nothing. Now that is an end to the... Um, 
the raw materials section, there's quite a few buildings that you can get. And every time you produces something, it puts it inside your warehouse. And remember, you need a warehouse before you can build any of this anyways. So any, any products that it needs, it will take from your warehouse and any products it produces, it will put into your warehouse. Now let's go over the finishing options here. Now the first one I want to talk about is a brewery. So let's go to a place that has beer. It's over here and Gdansk is famous for their beer. They have beer right at the top of their production list right there. So we can build a brewery here. Again, we can put it outside the walls or inside the walls. You can see this town is in the process of expanding its walls. And I have a bunch of buildings that were outside the walls, but now are inside. And once this wall is done, they will tear this inner wall down. So let's build a brewery if we can right here. I'm going to plop it right there. right here there we go plop it right there and the brewery produces 49 barrels of beer a week and consumes 0.5 loads of wood and 1.2 loads of grain so you'll have to supply it with wood and grain from your warehouse and it will put in your warehouse beer every week now the next one is a hunting lodge Let's see, can we build one here? No, oh, we got a pitch. Now, where is a hunting lodge? I be believe Riga. We can build a hunting lodge here. Yes. I do not have enough hemp to build one. I have a sawmill building right here. I have a hunting lodge already right there. Now, the hunting lodge produces seven barrels of fur can and, and consumes hemp and 0.3 iron ironware. Now, the next building I want to talk about is the pitch maker here. Let's see if we can build one right here. And now the pitch maker creates seven barrels of pitch and consumes 0 0.7 uh, loads of wood. And again, it'll produce pitch and you need pitch to fix your ships. Now, the next one is salt. And I believe we can get salt from up here. Yes, they have salt on their list here in Raval, and we can build some salt, salt works. Let's plop one outside. We'll plop one right there. Now we got a salt maker. Now the salt maker produces 35 barrels of salt a week and consumes 3.5 uh, loads of wood. The next we have is pottery, and we can make some pottery here in my hometown of Visby. Now, if we go here, we have the pottery. Here's the price. And I do already have a bunch of pottery being uh, produced here, although I am right short timber. I need to build a lot of timber. Timber is a very important thing, and I'm always short of it. So the pottery produces 14 barrels of pottery and consumes 0 0.7 loads of wool per week. The next business is the weaving mill, and we can do that here as well. We have a weaving mill, and I'm short the timber, of course, but I do have some weaving mills already going on. Where are they? Here is a weaving mill right here. And the weaving mill produces 21 barrels of cloth and consumes 2.1 loads of wool so visby here is very good at producing wool or cloth it produces the wool it needs for the cloth and you can make cloth here this is a great place to uh, start a cloth industry and then you can start selling cloth now the next one is a workshop now i think the workshop a good place is lubeck we go to Lubeck, there is a workshop right here. We can build a workshop right there. And the workshop makes iron goods. Produces 21 barrels of iron goods and consumes 2.1 loads of wood and 2.1 loads of pig iron. 
Now let's take a look at Lubeck. You can get timber here, but you can't get uh, pig, pig iron. You have to import pig iron here, and then you can make iron goods. And iron goods is one of the best things that you can sell in this game. They, it, you can sell a lot of, of iron goods, and I would suggest that you pay attention to that. The next one is Brickworks. I think we can do Brickworks here as well. Yes, we can. Brickworks. And we can build a Brickworks factory here. And now the big Brickworks produces 7 loads of bricks and consumes 3.5 loads of wood. Bricks is very important. You need to have bricks so you can build all the buildings. And bricks... Uh, take a bit of space in your trading routes so be aware that bricks may become an issue in your game by transporting lots of them when you start really ramping up the size of your towns now the last thing i want to talk about is the fortifications options right here the first one is the port bombard and these are all military buildings and you can't do this until you're the lord mayor of the town and we can build a bombard here this protects the harbor build another one down here if we want to again here's the price and this protects the harbor if there's any pirates that are raiding your harbor they can protect it the next one is the port cannon again it looks just like the bombard but where can i put one uh right over here inside so we can raise what's already here we can upgrade it the next one is the gate bombard and again i don't have enough uh timber but it's exactly the same as the port bombard except you can put it here on the wall the cannon bombard is the same as we just did in the harbor you can upgrade one of these bombards into cannons and the pit shot is for the gates you can put them over top the gates and that gives you some def defensive capabilities there as well so this fortifies your town now, the other piece that I want to talk about, the last part, is your wall. If you want to expand your wall, you need to go to the town hall and you need to talk to them in the council chambers and put your suggestion to vote. And you can vote for the town, the walls to be expanded. If the town elects that, say yes, then it will automatically be built. So to do that, you need to vote on the town wall. Now I went through all the options available in the construction menu. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you soon.